Welcome to another episode of This Is My Architecture Live. My name is Peter. My guest today is Troy from Ultrasurf. Good to have you here, Troy. Thanks, Peter. All right, Troy, so what do you guys do? Sure, so Ultraserv are a digital commerce uh, platform provider. We specialize and target uh, specifically small to uh, mid or medium-sized enterprises. And we deliver that uh, Ultraserv commerce platform, otherwise known as USC, uh, via our SmartStack uh, orchestration and management platform. And that's now available on the AWS marketplace. All right, so SmartStack is the solution we'll be talking about today. Uh, there's two things to the story, right? Two sides. There's yep. the application itself that, you'll be, that you do deploy and uh, the actual deployment flow on this side. So right. uh, let's just go straight into this and show me how it works. Sure, so uh, as we can see here, this is the SmartStack platform. And basically what we've got here is a, uh, a bunch of AWS services that we've used. We've made it as, as stateless and serverless as we can, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, a really interesting way to approach it. And essentially we've got a series of microservices. Sure. And we do that through Lambda and we expose REST APIs for the control plane and uh, a UI, a, a graphical interface to those same APIs out of a single page application. And so effectively what you've got from a user experience, yeah. you've got these users coming in and inter interacting potentially either via that UI or maybe they're using part of their CI CD process for their development into those APIs. And so that comes through mm -hmm. these series of, uh, of services that are interact together and they're utilizing and, and backing off persistence to uh, services such as DynamoDB. All right, understood. So those services are basically reacting up on those uh, requests that are coming from the user side. And uh, I believe, I mean, the co-build part is, uh, at least from what I see, the most interesting part here, right? So this is kind of like the very core yeah. of how environment creation happens. So what's going on here? Yeah, totally right. So we've got this, this example here, and there's, uh, there's some of these services that are interacting with the code build service. So we use Terraform, yeah. uh, popular open source uh, you know, cr uh, creation tool that's, that's available on AWS. So we bunch, uh, put a bunch of uh, variable data into that. We dynamically produce the, pro the Terraform profiles. And effectively, we then, through these services, we instruct those to be loaded up into code build, and we execute them. What that executes is the, is, is the other side of this, this equation that you're talking about, so that ultra-serve commerce side. And so that creation process comes off and says, first of all, I need to create an AWS account, mm. I need to put a bunch of services in there, and you can see here, and we'll talk about those, is multi-layered yeah. and highly complex environment right. to deliver that commerce okay, platform. All right. Okay, perfect, so it is the environment, right? That happens to be created first. Now the application itself seems fairly complex. Yeah. How does that happen? So, yeah, I mean, like talk me through the deployment process. Yeah, right. So, as I said, you're calling an API and you're putting a bunch of information to it, or you might be referencing uh, those API calls through the graphical interface as a user. And so, uh, in the case of say the AWS marketplace, uh, you sign up through that AWS marketplace as, a, as an Amazon yeah. customer, and you subscribe, and then you kick on to to a service that, that that we're delivering here, where we register you and capture a lot of information, and then literally in a couple of clicks. These, these uh, microservices that we've got, these SmartStack microservices, come over and start building these pieces. And they obviously build them in a logical, sensible order, and they apply things, uh, best practice type architecture to it. So right. one of the things that we did when we built this and we designed this stack is we worked heavily with AWS resources as part of uh, our strategic collaboration uh -huh. agreement that we've got with you guys. And uh, we, we followed a well-architected process, so we've got a lot of those best practices in there, uh, things like guardrails, et cetera, in terms of security. So. All of these components are built out, uh, and then this effectively represents the footprint of that application. What you're then at is this this same person over here is then in a position within a matter of uh, you know an hour or so uh, to have this infrastructure built out, and they can then start to use that uh, to to sell their products online. All right, interesting. So you see, you have listened on to those uh, kind of best practice recommendations that, that the well architected framework is providing, yeah, and uh, you've imposed guardrails to pretty much. You know, ensure that things are going the right way. Right? We do, and that's done in a really clever way, and w without going into it too much, there's a, an account vending machine over this side as well. And again, through that partnership that we have with AWS, we're able to co-develop that. And we use the profiles uh, for the organizational parts of the Amazon API to instruct these these build definitions when they happen to uh, to set all of that and establish it. So right. completely immutable uh, and, and obviously reproducible. And that's the, that's one of the core tenets of, of, of what this platform is. All right, about. okay, so any specifics 
talk about uh, when it comes to deploying newer versions of this application? So what does that look like? Sure, so obviously that's key as well. What you want to be able to do is you want to be able to customize and can customize the code base for this application. And so that process, again, comes back through through these control services and and potentially some, some other and all the same of these functions. And so uh, effectively what, what happens is as part of their CI CD process, the customer puts into a bucket that we poll for and we see for a new version and we push this out. We launch these again in immutable ways because all, all of this gets built. This, this builds this into a container image and we then launch those images onto these right. CS containers. Okay. All right, Troy, thank you for sharing this. No worries, you're welcome. And thank you for watching this Architecture Live. Back to Launchpad.